I want to talk to Chief Meteorologist Mike Gabbert right now. Mike, how long is this rain that we're dealing with now going to stick around? <laughs> it looks like it's going to last for a while. We are stuck in a cold and wet pattern, and I've been taking a look at the long-term forecast, and it looks like things will slowly and into... In Incrementally is the word that I'm searching for. Start to improve here, but yeah, it looks like it's going to be well, a few days before we get there. Case in point, yesterday, you remember we were dancing in little happy circles about the fact that we were one degree above average? Yeah, we dropped by about 13 degrees today out at SeaTac. 52 was our official high today. Managed to keep it in the 40s overnight. We're going to do that again tonight as well. Nowhere near record territory on either front there, but we did pick up some moisture out there, just a little over a quarter of an inch in the gauges out at SeaTac, and that sunset at 827 tonight was, well, a little bit of a murky affair. Things have improved across the Seattle waterfront. Taking a look right now, we're not seeing that heavy rain that we saw during the commute earlier this evening. Not seeing a W on top of the T-Mobile Stadium either, but maybe the game's not over yet. 50 degrees out there right now. Southwesterly winds coming in at a pretty good clip, about 18 to 22 miles an hour right now, as we've got yet another frontal boundary passing through. A little bit pixelated right now, but the GO-17 satellite, yeah, it's a little too much for me. Basically, all you need to know is this, is the first frontal boundary has passed by. We've got a Another one that's going to make its way through here on Friday as well, and then some trailing showers on Saturday. I'm pinning my hopes on Mother's Day, and I'll show you why in a moment. But let's take a quick radar tour. We take a look up towards Skagit, Whatcom, and even Snohomish counties, where we've got some light rain falling across the I-5 corridor, but a little bit of a rain shadow there as well up near Oak Harbor. Meanwhile, Edomclaw is right on the edge of some rain there, but we're continuing to see some light showers pushing in along some of the foothills and snow levels riding right around 4,500 feet right now. They're going to drop this weekend. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Meanwhile, putting the future into motion, it's going to take most of the night tonight to clear the rest of those showers out, especially in Snohomis and up towards Skagit and Whatcom counties there. But by morning, we should be clearing. But that's right when the next system moves in. Take a look at this. We'll get ourselves some showers. It'll be mostly towards the south. In fact, it looks like Oregon is going to take the bulk of the energy here, but they're going to share with us. You'll see some of those showers starting to migrate up from the south. So to get towards the evening commute, and yep, we're going to be tracking some more rain moving through that will finally squeeze itself out, mostly along the southern edge of the Cascade. Saturday, once again, it looks like we're going to be starting off fairly mellow, and then we're going to see some rain that will light up in the afternoon there and basically create a convergence zone over top of Snohomish, and that could be a problem for folks taking part in the Windermere Cup this weekend. So if you are planning on heading out there, bring the rain gear, but enjoy yourself. Looks like we'll continue to see some of that convergence into Sunday morning, but then by the time we get to Sunday afternoon, it won't be perfect, but it doesn't look like there's going to be steady rain. So happy Mother's Day, Mom. We'll see temperatures in the low 50s on Friday. We'll get into the mid-50s as we go through the weekend and upper 50s next week.